Salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in Amma ba'd fa'awdhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim Rabbish rahli sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul uqtatam min lisani yafqahu qawli Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in insha'Allah May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ بردن سسٹرز شیٹ فار لائسا ہیز بین گیون تو یو دیز آر دی ورسز فرم دی قرآن انشاءاللہ یو ویل ٹرائی تو فیگر آؤٹ دی سینٹنس دی کنسکشن آف ایٹ اور یو ویل فیگر آؤٹ دی اسم لائسا ویر ایز اسم لائسا اور ویر ایز خبر لائسا اوکی ناو Laysa usually enters Jumla Ismiya. Ana Talibun. Ana Lastubi Talibin. See, it entered Jumla Ismiya. But when you say Lastubi Talibin, that is a Jumla failure. That will come in book three. You know, because Laysa is a verb. As in the verb, brother and sister, the file always comes afterwards are you with me file always comes afterwards remember i told you the sequence of verbal sentence what is normal sequence of verbal sentence brother sequence of verbal sentence first is the feel and then it is file and then it will be maf'oolun bi'i. Maf'oolun bi'i. Fa'ilun fi'alun. 
Are you with me, brother? If I say Hamidun Zahaba El Al Masjidi. What is Hamidun? Muftada. Huh? Because now it is Jumla Ismiya. Where is the verb? Zahaba. Where is the file for Zahaba? It is Mustatir. If you say Hamid is the file, that will be wrong. Because fiel, then file will come. Are you with me? So Zahaba, where is the file for Zahaba? It is Mustatir, hidden. Taqdeeruhu huwa. Now that huwa will go back to Hamid. Huh? Okay, we will learn Taqdeeru uh, huwa. Yadullu ala Hamid. It returns to or it points out to, or it indicates to, Hamid. Are you with me? Now if I say, Zahaba Hamidun Ilal Masjidi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Zahaba Hamidun Ilal Masjidi. Now, where is the file of Zahaba? Now it is Hamid. This was Jumla Ismiya. The Khabar was Jumla Failure. And this is purely Jumla Failure. Please keep that in mind. Huh? Similarly, Laisa. When you have a Laisa, the Ism Laisa will come afterwards. Huh? It will come afterwards. If I say, Ana less to be mother sin. Huh? So Anna, what is Anna brothers and sisters? Then we have less to. There is a Fiel Laisa, in it, okay, and where is the Ismu Laisa? Tu, huh? are you with me? So if I write something very similar like this, Amidun Laisa B Mudarrisen, okay, brother and sister, Amidun Laisa B Mudarrisen. What is the translation? Hamid is not a teacher. What is Hamid? Muftada. Where is the khabar? The jumla failure. So Laisa is a fiel. Fielun, nakisun, jamidun. Huh? Okay, where is Ismu Laisa? Mustatir. Huh? It is Mustatir. You cannot say Hamid is Ismu Laisa. Huh? Ismu Laisa is Mustatir. Because it has to come afterwards, okay? And then be mudarisin is the khabar. Now if I say, Laisa Hamidun bi mudarisin. Now, now this is Jumla Ismiya. Sahih? Started with Hamid. What is this? Jumla failure. This is Jumla failure. So Laisa is a failun, nakisun, jamidun. Okay. Where is Ismu Laisa? Now it is Hamidun. It will always come afterwards. Keep that in mind because there is a tendency for us to take Muftada as a file or ism. Huh? Inshallah. Keep this in mind. A very important rule, brothers and sisters. Now, <clears throat> we want to finish this lesson. And I was talking to you about the handout. Look at it, brother, carefully. Read it slowly, slowly. And then figure out where is the Ismu Laisa and where is the Khabar Laisa. It will make you strong and you will enjoy doing that, inshallah. Success does not come cheap. For success, one has to pay a very high price. 
The only price for success, brothers and sisters, it will not cost you money. It will only cost you time. Huh? Price for success is hard work. Inshallah, we'll do the hard work. And Allah will bless us, inshallah, with the knowledge of his book, inshallah. inshallah. Now, brothers and sisters, I want to introduce to you Mudharia. So as soon as we finish this lesson, we will spend some time in learning about the Fialun Mudharia, inshallah. Let us go on page 17 in the old book. Hmm. Exercise number 8. Ikra al misala Um adkhil in alal jumla atiyati. Very, very easy, brother. Li thalasu akhawatin. Now let us see whether we understand this. Uh, brother, what is li? How many words are there? Two, Two words. Uh, jar wa majru. Are you with me? Fine. So this is Shubhu Jumla Khabar. Uh, where is our Muftada brother Abdul Samad? Salasu. Got the idea? Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudafili. Now, remember, inna will only make the Muftada into mansub, and then that will become ismu inna. No longer Muftada. So if you put in, what will happen? Li thalasa. That is very easy, brother. Khalas. Huh? That's all we have to figure out. So as long as you are strong in muftada and khabar, the inna and akhwat to inna, they are all halwa puri, brother. Huh? They are all very easy. Okay? Okay, fine. It is, Dr. Abdurrahim has explained, Asluhu salasu akhwatin li, but that's not the way we say it. Huh? And inna salasa akhwatin li, also that's not the way we say it. We say inna li salasa akhwatin or li salasu akhwatin. Fine. Now we have here sentences, brothers and sisters. We will start with brothers. Brother Muhammad. Number one, fil fasli khamsatu talibin jududin. Put in there, brother and sister. Inna. Inna fil fasli, mashallah. Khamsatu. What will happen to khamsatu? Khamsata. That's all. Inna made khamsatu into khamsata. Why? Because khamsata is our ismu inna. Got the idea? It's very easy. So you will say, if you were to analyze it, brothers and sisters, you will say, Inna harfu tawkid wa nasbin fil fasli jar majrur shibu jumla khabar inna. What will you say? Khabar inna. Remember, inna has come. And then khamsata ismu inna mansubun wa huwa mudaf. And then Talibin, Tullabin, Khamsatu Tullabin, Mudaf Ilehi. And what will be Jududin? Naat. Khalas. Easy, brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah. Brother Hassan. Ah, mashallah, mashallah. Inna lana mudarrisan jayidan. Jayidan. Good. Excellent. Huh? MashaAllah. So, brothers and sisters, what will be our answer? Inna lana mudarisan. This is our ismu inna. And jaidun was a naat. Now, naat for mudarisun. Now it is mudarisan. So, jaidun will become jaidan. Because naat has to follow the manut. Good. Excellent. We have a good teacher, Jaidan. Very good, Brother Hassan. That was excellent. Now, Brother Abdul Samad. MashaAllah. Excellent, excellent. See, now we get the idea. 
en nafi jaibi miata riale. I have, truly I have in my pocket 100 riyals. Okay. So fi jaibi, how many words are there? Three, Three words. Huh? Fi arjar jaibi isam majroor wa huwa mudaf and then ya mutakallim mudafilai. So what is fi jaibi? Jar majroor shibu jumla khabar inna. Where is this mu inna? Miata. Wa huwa mudaf and then riyalin mudafilai. Now this practice that we are doing, brother, will have only one consequences. And that is, you will become excellent in your analysis, in your understanding, uh, brothers and sisters. It will help you to understand Quran in a very nice way, brother, where you will always be able to make a simple translation with ease, inshallah. Inna lana mudarisan jayidan. So, brother, lana, how many words are there? Two. Jar majroor. Huh? So, lana, jar majroor, shibu jumla khabar, inna, and mudarisan will be ismu inna. Sahi? Inshallah. Now, brother Salman? Kathira? Tan. Huh? Because it has to match. But the anharan, anharan is plural. And kasiratan is singular. Why? Kullu jamamunas. We always have to remember that. Huh? Okay. So, brother uh, Salman, that was good. Fil Hindi, inna fil Hindi, inna harfu tawkid wa nasbin fil Hindi, jar majru, shibu jumla khabar inna. And then, brother, anharan. Ismu inna kasiratan nat. Very good, mashallah. Brother Said. Mashallah, mashallah. Excellent. Inna laka, inna, same thing. Harfu taqid wa nasb. Laka, how many words are there? Two. Char majur, shibu jumla khabar inna. And where is our ismu inna? Barkiyatan. Barkiya tan. Barkiya tan. And fi maktabil barid. Of course, fi harfjar. Maktabi isam majroor. Wa huwa mudaf. And al barid mudaf ilahi. MashaAllah. What do you mean by barkiya tan? Telegram. 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 Brother Salim. No. Mashallah, you said it, you, your sentence was correct. Innali alfa dolarin fil masrifi. Masrifi, bank. Masrifun is the bank. Masrifun, bank. Huh, brother? This is the uh, Arabic for bank. You have to remember, brother, Arabic is so rich. It does not have to borrow words from outside. It, it has the, it has the kuwa, the strength and the wealth of words that it can create its own word. We don't have to say bank. We have to say masrif. And we are going to learn in book three how these nouns are made. For example, hatif. Telephone is hatif, not telephone. Huh? Television is still fast, and how were these nouns derived? It's all we are going to learn in book three, inshallah. You will find it very interesting, inshallah. So, inna li, li, how many words? Two. Char majur shibu jumla khabar. So, inna, arfu taqid wa nasbin. Li, jar majur shibu jumla khabar, inna. And where is our ismu inna? Alpha. Alpha. Huh? وَهُوَ مُدَاف دُلَارٍ مُدَافِ لَهِ فِي الْمَسْرَفِ جَارْ مَجْرُورٍ MashaAllah الْكَلِمَةُ الْجَدِيدَةُ لِقَاءٌ أَنَا مَسْرُورٌ بِلِقَائِكَ I'm happy to meet you. Nice sentence. You must memorize it and use it, brother. I also request you when you meet, ask each other every single day. كَيْفَ حَالُكِ كَيْفَ حَالُكَ 
and then reply properly. And always say, Alhamdulillah. Okay? Also say, Masmuka, Masmuha, Masmuhu. So that, you know, you can uh, feel comfortable in answering. When we don't practice, brother, even though you are in book three, even though you can analyze everything and you can understand, and once, once you are asked masmuka, you get stuck. Your, your tongue gets knotted. You just cannot say it's me. It doesn't come in, instantly. It takes time. So if you try with, uh, among yourself, brothers and sisters, you'll see that slowly, slowly, it is very easy for you to say sentences in Arabic. So, and once we are learning Mudariya, you can even use these sentences. Hal zahabti ila al-masjid al-yawm? Naam zahabtu. Mata zahabti? Mata rajati? You know, answer these things and you will become a little uh, fluent. Huh? We in Urdu, we say, Zaban, Zaban mein rawani aayegi. Zaban mein rawani aayegi. It will become smooth and you will be able to say without difficulty, inshallah. Likaun, <coughs> meeting. Jayidun, good. Jayibun, brother. That's, that's not an Urdu word. It's an Arabic word. Pocket. Because you say Jayib in Urdu. Nahrun, it's a river, Anharun, Barkiyatun, now this is an obsolete word now. Huh? You have no more telegrams. Huh? Huh? But this was written, this was written 40 years ago, brother. Huh? Masrifun, Masarifu. See, Masarifu, what kind of a wazan is this? Mafailu. Always remember Masajidu. Huh? For simplicity. Maktabul Baridi, Maktabul Baridi, Mudaf, Mudaf Okay, post office. Okay, brothers and sisters, now I want to start Mudariya, brother. Remember, we are going to take the base form. Huh? The, what is the base form? In Madi, it starts with Huwa. Huh? In Madi, it starts with a Huwa. That is our base form. Huh? And now we will start in Mudariya, the base form, okay? But let us conjugate couple of them, inshallah. We start with Nasara today. What are we starting with? Nasara. Nasara. Ready? He helped. Nasara, Nasara, Nasaru, Nasarat, Nasarata, Nasarna. Nasarta, Nasartuma, Nasartum, Nasarti, Nasartuma, Nasartunna, Nasartu, Nasarna. Got the idea? Okay. Hua, Nasara. Hia, Nasarat. Ana, Nasartu. Anta, Nasarta. Anti, Nasarti. Nahnu, Nasarna. Hum, Nasaru. Hunna nasarna, antum nasartum, antunna nasartunna. Mashallah. Now we again do zahaba also today, because zahaba is what will come in the lesson in the beginning. Zahaba. Ready? Zahaba, zahaba, zahabu, zahabat, zahabata, zahabna, zahabta, zahabtuma, zahabtum. Zahabti, Zahabtuma, Zahabtunna, Zahabtu, Zahabna, MashaAllah. Ana, Zahabtu. Anta, Zahabta. Anti, Zahabti. Nahnu, Zahabna. Huwa, Zahabba. Huwa, Zahabba. Hiya, Zahabba. Hum, Hunna, Zahabna. Nahnu, Zahabna. Antum, Zahabtum. MashaAllah. See, can you feel you are comfortable now? Then one when we started, so practice will make us perfect, inshallah. Okay? Now remember, brothers and sisters, Nasara, the base form, he helped. 
Are you with me? Always who are. And now because we are strong in our pronouns and we can say in sequence, we'll do everything in sequence. Nasara. What is na? Fa kalima. What is sa? Ain kalima. And ra? Lam kalima. Or first radical, second radical, third radical. Now, I am separating them. When you make it into mudarya, this is the base form, brother. Okay. Na, sa, ra. He helped. Yan, su, ru. He helps. It will also have the future. He will help. The way the sentence will come, you will be able to Make the meaning. Okay, but where is the fa kalima? That will remain there. Where is the ain kalima? It will remain there. Uh, what is the, where is the lam kalima? Ra, see, that is why we have to understand fa kalima, ain kalima, lam kalima. Then when we get into longer verbs, you know, it will become very, very easy for us. Very easy for us. Okay, brother, I can see my first radical, I can see my second radical, I can see my third radical. What is this ya? This is something new. What is this yuna? ya? We call it mudaf mudafri. What is it? Alamatu modari. What is the meaning of alamatu? Sign. Eh? What is the meaning of alamatu? Sign of modari. As soon as I say yan suru, that ya tells me that it is now fail modari. But the fa kalima, ain kalima, lam kalima are there. Are you with me? They are there. Okay. Now what happened here, brothers and sisters? Okay that fa kalima got a sukun and it will always have sukun what did i say always will have sukun you know fa kalima will have sukun and then lam kalima got a dhamma it is always will have dhamma okay then what about ain kalima remember in the base form Remember we said the fa kalima will always have fata and the lam kalima will always have fata but the ain kalima can be like zahaba and then samia, shariba or it can be karuma, ma'uda, jamula means ain kalima can change with our three vowel signs. So the action in the verb is on Ain Kalima. The rest are all same. Same way, brothers and sisters, in Mudarya, Fa Kalima will always be Sukun, Lam Kalima will always be Dhamma. But the change will take place on Ain Kalima. Are you with me? Where will the change take place? Ain Kalima. Do you see here? This is Sa and this is Su. Now I give you one example. Huh? Okay, more example. Daraba. Do you see Daraba? Okay. What is this? Alamatu Mudarya. And then again I write my what will come on Da Fa Kalima? Sukun. 
what will come on Lam Kalima? Dhamma. Are you with me? What will come on Ain Kalima? Those who <laughs> you remember my my you know little joke that those who speak Arabic it is in their blood. They know. You know, from childhood they have been used to it. You know? When a child takes the first sip of uh, mother's milk, all the knowledge of Arabic is transferred. So they know it, but for us, we will have to figure out. And as you read it, you will retain it in your mind. And if you are not sure, you will look into the dictionary. There is no other way. Do not sit down and memorize. Read it and retain in your mind. Okay, but Daraba Yadribu. See, Ain Kalima here gets us Kasra. Are you with me? Daraba Yadribu. Okay, so here the Ain Kalima got a Dhamma. Are you with me? The Ain Kalima got a Dhamma. And here Ain Kalima got a Kasra. Huh? Okay, one more example. Fataha. He opened. Fataha. Okay. Again, I bring my Alamatu Mudarya and then what should be on first radical? Sukun. What should be on the third radical? Dhamma. What about the Ain Kalima? So, Are you with me? <coughs> Fataha, Ain Kalima got a, has a Fata. When it went into Mudarya, it remained in Fata. There is a nice little poetry, you know. Okay? And uh, I will give you the handout, and slowly, slowly will become strong, brothers and sisters. So from this example, from this example, you see that the Ain Kalima, when it goes into Mudarya, can have Dhamma, can have a Kasra, can have a Fata. And there are still more. There are totally six different ways the Mudarya is formed. And we are going to learn. Out of those six Four are very common, two are less frequent. Okay, brothers and sisters. So, every three-letter verb, I'm only talking about three-letter verb. Huh? Remember, one, two, and three. Three-letter verb is the most difficult. Four-letter, five-letter, six letters, these are all halwa puris and bakhlavas. They are very easy. Very, very easy. The three letter verbs is something that we have to pay more attention to it. So, brothers and sisters, <clears throat> every three letter verb will go into six different bar. It can go. And we have to remember that. Now, if you have that page number five in your Handout, brother and sister, book one, handout, page number five. Okay, you will see there are certain groups. The first group is please remember one thing, I will be repeating this quite a bit. So, as much as you can understand today, you understand. Uh, otherwise, every day we will go through it and you will be able to, inshallah, figure out. Huh? Are you with me? Page number five? Page number six? Sorry about that. Page number six, yeah. See, can you see the first column? What is on top? Huh? Bab Nasara. What is it? 
Bab Nasara. Are you with me? Now we will, inshallah, memorize this. Bab Nasara. So what is so important about Bab Nasara? Huh? The only important thing about Bab Nasara is that the verb in the Mahdi, if the Ain Kalima has a Fatah, in the Mudariya, Ain Kalima gets a Dhamma. This is the pattern we will remember. Okay? If I, so remember, Nasara Yan Suru. Are you with me? You have to remember this, inshallah. Practice it. Huh? Nasara Yan Suru. Okay? Every day you will take, make two sheets, brothers and sisters. Let us do for a few days Nasara, then you come to the other bar. Even if you want to do other bars, it's okay. Uh, but we have to understand that. Okay, brother? So the first column is Bab Nasara. What happens in Bab Nasara, Sister Faiza? That the Ain Kalima, which has got a Fata, Ain Kalima gets a Dhamma. Okay? That's, so this pattern, uh, the scholars have said, it is Bab Nasara. In English, you can say like this, brothers and sisters. What is it? A U. A stands for Fata, and U stands for Dhamma. When you say A U, means in the Madi, Ain Kalima had a Fata. When it went into Mudarya, the Ain Kalima changed into Dhamma. That is A U. Huh? It's easy. Again, I warn you. Huh? Do not feel. Uh, Depressed if you do not understand today, we are going to repeat it and you will master it, brother. Everybody masters it, okay? Bhav Nasara. Then we come to the second column. What, you, what is the second column? Bab Daraba. So, what is the speciality of Bab Daraba? That the Ain Kalima has a Fatah, but in the Mudarya, it got a kasra. So anything that fits into this will be called that it is in Bab Daraba. Are you with me? Okay. What is the third column? Bab Fataha. Anything which has a Ain Kalima Fata and remains Fata, okay, is called A A. Bab Fataha. For if I Bab Fatah. Okay. Here this will be A into I. And here will be A A. Got the idea? There's a nice little poetry. And uh, I will bring the page. And then I have made a little song out of it. And you will also join me in the song. It says <clears throat> Fataho Dammin. What did I say? Fataho Dammin. What is the meaning of Fataho Dammin? That on Ain Kalima, there is a Fata, and it changed into Mudarya, into Dhamma. Then it says, Fataho Kasarin. Are you with me? So when, when Ain Kalima has a Fata, it's changed into Kasara. And then it says, Fatahatani. Two fatas. Madi, Ain Kalima Fata. Mudarya, Ain Kalima Fata. Are you with me? So, inshallah, we will try to remember it. Huh? Today is the first day. Don't worry. Every day we will practice a little bit. So, it goes something like this, you know. Fataho Dammin Nasarayan Suru. Fatho kasarin daraba yadribu Fatahatani Fatahatani Fataha yaftahu Then it goes on. But today only this much. Okay? Did it make sense to you? After I explained you? If I say to you, 
fatahu dammin nasarayan suru fatahu kasarin daraba yadribu fatahatani fatahatani means there is a fatah on ain kalima in madi and fatah on ain kalima in mudhariya fatah yaftahu okay but today we will only do bab nasara i explained to you because on your own if you try you will be able to understand and do it keep that page very handy okay inshallah brothers and sisters now we start nasara yan suru has everybody got the pages have you done nasara yan suru huh? uh, you have kataba yaktubu okay let us do kataba yaktubu because it is same okay if i tell you kataba if i say kataba is bab nasara what is it kataba is bab nasara so what does it mean nasara yansuru kataba yaktubu it will follow the same pattern so you will go by the bab now huh? okay if i say dakhala is bab nasara if i say dakhala is bab nasara so what will happen yad khulu got the idea this is how it is. if i say to you that katala which is not a nice word but for the sake of practice if we say, i say katala is your bab nasara so what will happen katala yaktulu huh? yaktulu okay so because you have a sheet of kataba we will do kataba brothers and sisters yaktubu are you with me what is ya alamatu mudariya what is ya alamatu mudariya huh? and then uh, yaktubu fa kalima gata sukun ain kalima gata dhamma and lam kalima gata dhamma brother wherever there is a fail there is a file where is the file there is the file has to be mustatir are you with me has to be mustatir mashallah now we come to huma okay brother i am leaving this because we know it i am writing here yak tu bani are you with me brother yak tu bani yak tu bani tu ha huh? yak tu bu he writes yak tu bani two of them are writing brothers and sisters where is the file brothers where is the file if you say alif you are 100% right if you say alif and noon you are partially right and you are partially incorrect the file is only alif what is this noon doing here are you it is it is doing something nice but we will leave it aside for the time being later on i will i will uh, explain you okay what is this noon uh, because we are doing in stages you know you know this is the problem sister minas that in urdu grammar everything is given to you you know right away and they don't understand what's going on honestly but in with us we'll do everything bit by bit stage by stage so huma yaktu bani so where is the file alif okay alif noon is something else okay file then home brothers and sisters okay home will be yak tu buna now you will be able to figure out you will become smart where is the file wow only <laughs> not the noon huh? file is wow only okay file is wow only 
Huh? Wow only, mashallah. And then we come to here. I write here. Tak tubu. She writes. Brothers, okay, I asked brothers before, now I asked sisters. Where is the file? Yak tubu. Tak tubu. Don't say ta. No, that is the alamatu mudharya. What is this ta? Huh? What is this ta, brothers and sisters? Alamatu mudharya. This is also alamatu mudarya. This is also alamatu mudarya. Are you with me? So where is the file then? Mostatir. Where is the file? Mostatir. Got the idea? 